Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all my Yu-Gi-Oh! Ghosts from the Past box opening. I've got 20 Ghosts from the Past boxes to open for you all today. I just couldn't fit all of them on the uh, camera, but hopefully most of you saw from the thumbnail. Got a good amount of this set to open. I was very excited for this set, not only for the Ghost Rares, but for all the different support we're receiving in this set in the form of Sun Avalons, uh, Starry Knights, and all these awesome reprints for a bunch of different decks, including Red Dragon Archfiend, Time Thieves, you name it. A lot of good support in this set. And that's definitely what I recommend picking up the set for if you're looking to build any of these decks or even just to try your chance at pulling a Ghost Rare because from just how difficult the ratios are to pull one, it's definitely a nice pull if you can and definitely worth the value being some of the awesome Ghost Rares we can get in the set including Blue Eyes Alternative and Dark Magician. But enough talk, let's go ahead and get started with the opening. So yeah, we got uh, 20 in total and the boxes don't seem to be too, too difficult to open up. But with 20 total and three... Uh, packs per box and I might have to just grab a scissor or something to open this up but three packs in total means we'll have 60 packs all together but let's go ahead and see how we do so first pack and once again you'll get five cards per pack starting off with a splash mage metal foes silver they reprinted a lot of interesting stuff in this set but starting off we have sun seed shadow these are for the sun avalon deck so great way to start uh dragoonity draft and evenly matched awesome so first pack starting off strong with some of the really good reprints and there's really no way to organize uh these i'm just gonna have to do at the end because uh, they're all ultra rares, there's no secrets or anything like that. We have a Galaxy Eyes Cypher Blade Dragon, Metal Foes Mithrilium, Artifact Durandal, nice reprint there, Miss Valley Baby Rock, and Starry Night Balefire. So I originally thought maybe like they would have two uh, reprinted cards and three new cards. That's how they did, uh, I believe, one of the, the Duelist Saga, what feels most familiar with this set. But I guess it's just going to be random with all the different cards we have. We have a Metal Foes Counter. Time Thief Retrograde, so they're uh, basically holifying a lot of the Time Thief cards also. Uh, Sunvine Shrine, another Cypher Blade, and uh, Nesh Shadal Genius, the new Shadal support. So yeah, Shadals, Necros, you name it. There's a lot of good support all together in this set. I might just have to grab an X-Acto knife just because of the fact that I don't want to be stuck saving time to... Uh, basically open up all of these boxes but that saves a little bit of time just because 60 packs is still a pretty good number i don't want to damage any of them by just trying to rip open the box i do like that they have all the different arts on the boxes as well so starting off with a lava volcano handmaiden they reprinted the lavas too that's another one i'm very excited for fairy tale tales fairy tale support also uh starry night blast heretic dragon king of a tomb uh, Shooting Star Dragon, TGX, awesome. I was hoping to get this, and which I have a lot of boxes, so I'm hoping to get a good number of cards. But this is the new support for Stardust Dragon. Very, very awesome art as well. I believe we're getting new support in Lightning Overdrive as well for, I think, Black Rose and Stardust Dragon. So picking those up now, definitely a good idea. We have an Ultra Rare, Time Thief Redoer, Danger Thunderbird, Metal Foes Counter, Miracle Synchro Fusion, I think this might be the first, uh, there might be a super, but I don't believe so. The first uh, reprint foil for this card. And Starry Night Ceremony, so we're really kicking off with all the different uh, Starry Night cards also. Last pack from this box, we have a Heretic Seal of Banishment, and Arc Brave Dragon, Metal Foes Orichalc, Phantom Knights of Fog Blades, a good reprint. And we have our first of the new Heretic support, which is Heretic Sky Dragon, Overlord of Heliopolis. I think it's basically a newer version of Heliopolis, uh, being the boss monster of the uh, Heretic deck. Very, very awesome, for sure. But yeah, we got a pile uh, going already, moving right along to the next one. I think the ratios they said for the Ghost Rares are like one out of every case and a half. I don't remember the exact number of how many of these big boxes, which I've opened them up. Just to make it easier for that, you get per uh, case either. It might be six, being between six or 12 is my guess. Unless four is in a case, so I'm not 100% sure. We have a Time Thief, uh, Bezel Ship, Time Thief Retrograde, Sun Avalon Dryads, one of the Link, they have plenty of Link monsters for the Sun Avalon deck also. 
Dragoonity Obliate and Arm Dragon level 10. This is definitely needed just for the Arm Dragon deck. I always like to run at least one copy of the original Arm Dragon in the deck, so very nice pool there. And we start off with Heretic Dragon of a set. The glare is a little bad for the Ultra Rare. It's one thing I've noticed when they reprint Ultras compared to Secrets. Uh, Metal Foes Fusion, Mass Change. Uh, I think this is our first foil version of Madolce Fresh Assist Heart as well. And look at that, another evenly matched. So we've already got two evenly matches from, I think this is my third box. But uh, one of the better reprints, like I said, all together. So last pack. Let's see. I want to see if I can pull some uh, pudding senses. Uh, pudding senses. Pudding senses. We have Gear Town, Metal Foes Vol Flame, Heretic Seal of Supremacy, Tefnuit, and we have Starry Knight Flamel. So nice, one of these Starry Knight monsters again. I don't know if it's, I think it might be sort of a control deck. I don't know if it plays off of any extra deck uh, monsters. I'll have to look into it more. But uh, I know the Sun Avalons, they were used by Spectre in the, uh, I was about to say Arc 5 Vrains anime. So that's another one to definitely look forward to building because I'm a big fan of Brains and all the different decks we got from it and Goki, Trickstar, and the fact that they made Sun Avalon means there's a good chance we could have Lightning's deck made also. Nice, Cosmojo. They were printed Tin Can, Cosmojo, a bunch of needed cards for the uh, Cosmos as well. Sunseed Genius Loki, so it's a normal monster, which means we have a lot of playability with a bunch of different cards for the Sun Avalon deck for the fact that they provided a normal monster for us. I think I have three Cyberblade Dragons already. Mithrilium and Starry Night Sky for, is it a field spell? It looked like a field spell, so very cool. And we have another Durandal, uh, Miss Valley Baby Rock, Metal Foes Counter, Time 3 Thief Retrograde, and we have Dragoonity Knight Arid Bear. So this is the new Synchro Monsters at level 10, I think, yep, uh, level 10 boss monster. Awesome. They were supposed to give us a Dragoonity structure deck. Maybe they thought it wouldn't sell well, maybe because they already had a Dragoonity structure deck. I'm not sure what made them just put them in this set. Another Cosmojo, another Genius Loki, and we have Starry Knight Arrival. So we're pulling all those Starry Knight and the Sun Avalon cards. We're through four boxes. I feel like I'm going to start dwindling down, but we still got 16 more to go through. So hopefully uh, with the pace I'm going right now, not too, too long of a video but i thought it would be cooler just to open them all together because if i split the video it also splits the chances of which video will have the ghost rare pool if i do end up pulling one so i thought one big video seems a lot more fun to do here's another metal foe they really packed on these metal foes in these packs fog blade uh gigantes cool reprint there gear town and hell shadal hollow so interesting it's another shadal monster i almost thought it was a lava monster but i do want to pull the new synchro monster so now that i said it i should probably be able to pull it for lavas we have a sun seed twin uh, sun avalon bloom heretic seal of reflection resonator engine and lava archer so it's not the synchro but it is a new uh, good card for the deck so glad we pulled it and last pack from this one. Yeah, you just move through these packs pretty quickly. We have a Heretic Seal of Convocation. Our first Petting says Sour for Madolche. Uh, play set of Cosmojos now. Metal Foes Stealing. And we have Starry Knight, Starry Dragon. Very, very... I love the art. It's really, really cool. It plays off of, you know, I would say the Constellers and the uh, Satellar Knights. But in their own way, they look pretty unique. Just for the fact that they're incorporating, uh, you know creatures and not just like warriors into the deck but i'll definitely have to look into it and what a deck would look like i just am now noticing the art and the fact that this is basically almost a mirror for anyone filming these as well let's see we have another gigantes gear town mine mole emergency teleport good reprint there and starry knight Rayel. maybe we're guaranteed one starry knight or one sun avalon card per box maybe all right, this is a good pack. Let's see. Uh, we have a Time Thief Chrono Quarter, a Sun Seed Genius Loki. I think I have a place of that now. Sun Vine Gardena. So Link One for Sun Avalon. Lava of All Dragon. Nice reprint. And Raid Raptor Tribute Lanius. So those of you wanting to build Raid Raptors, I always found that this was the most difficult card for people to get access to. So very cool that they finally reprinted it in a much easier form for people to get. Also, I am through seven. Nope, six. Can I count? Nope, uh, he's Seal from the Ashes, Sayaru, 
Rare Metal Foes Bismagir, Durndal, and we have another Dragoonity Knight Arid Bar for our Synchro at the end. Maybe the last card is always a new one there. All right, and then that's when I misplace the cutter for the boxes. It's dangerous because of the fact that it was hidden in a bunch of wrappers. Got to keep track of that because we're not even halfway through and there's already a ton of wrappers everywhere. So let's see how we do with the three packs from this one. And we've got Time Thief Perpetua and Heretic Steel Supremacy, Starry Knight Estelle, Sunvine Mane, I think that might be our first of that. And there we go, we have Lava Vol Salamander. This is probably my favorite art for all the different synchro monsters we've had for Lavals. This one just looks amazing. It really looks like a true boss monster for the deck, but glad I pulled it because I've been wanting to update Lavals, so hopefully I can get some more of the effect monster also. We have a Tackle Crusader. I can't recall what this is for. If this is just a generic machine, it's a rock monster, so obviously not a machine. Uh, Buster Dragon. Great reprint to see. Since Breakers of Shadow, we haven't had a reprint for this card. And this card was madly expensive also. Monarchs Erupt. And there we go. Red Super Nova Dragon for Red Dragon Archfiend. I didn't mention it because I didn't want to jinx myself and not pull it, but we finally got it. And we're not even too far in the boxes. But yeah, another one I was excited to pull for Red Dragon Archfiends. I think it's the only new support we have from this pack, but still great. We have Handmaiden, Fairy Tale Tales, a Tomb, Time Thief Redoer, and Starry Night Sky. I completely got distracted by awesome pulls that I, uh, you know, was lost track of, you know, me keeping track of the fact that if, moving some garbage out of the way, the last card in the pack always has a new card or not. But let's keep going with the boxes after this one. This is my eighth box. Can I count? Hopefully I can count. Yep, because I still have 12 more over there. So let's see. But don't forget about the main goal. And the main goal is a ghost rare. I want to see, I'll take any ghost rare. So I just want to see one pulled. That's the luck I want to see. Mass change, uh, fresh Sistart, and Dragoonity Glow. So I think the monster, the one that searches Dragon's Ravine, is the big one you want to pull for Dragoonities. But not damaging of the cards and see how we do. Another Gear Town, uh, Tefnuit, and Nel Shadal, Genius. Maybe the last card is a new card. You might pull some throughout it, but uh, maybe it is a guarantee because I did pull a Starry Knight. Did I? No, Dragoonity Glow. Completely forgot. Like I said, my mind definitely all over the place just because I'm excited to be opening all this Yu-Gi-Oh. We have a Heliopolis, uh, Sunvine Healer, another Link 1, Time Thief Flyback, Hyozanru, and Time Thief Double Barrel, awesome Xyz monster for the time. It looks, it reminds me so much of Double Helix for uh, Spirals, just with the, you know, dual art style for Redoer, and I can't remember the other guy's name, but hopefully we'll pull it, because I think he is in this set. All right, so I lost track again. Do I not know how to count? But I think we got 12 remaining. So can I pick up the pace? But I don't want to rush. I want to enjoy the ghost from the past. And hopefully you all enjoy watching as well, because this is definitely a set that probably won't be around too, too long. These special edition Yu-Gi-Oh sets stay for a while, and then gone. I, I just contradicted myself. They don't stay for a while. They're here for a little while, and then gone. Uh, fresh Start, Mass Change 2, Dark Requiem, Xyz Dragon, Tin Can, our first Tin Can, and another Red Super Nova Dragon. Awesome. That art looks amazing. It really gives off the Red Nova vibe, but also feels like its own monster. I can't remember if Red Nova Dragon has four wings like this one does in the art. Oh, I almost threw away two more packs. So let's see. If I were to have crumpled these packs up, how much would I have regretted it? We have a Time Thief Hack, uh, Heliopolis, Seal of Banishment, Arc Brave Dragon. I would have regretted it so much. We pulled a Ghost Rare, Blue Eyes, Alternative, White Dragon. Look how much I would have regretted pulling. Oh my goodness. I almost crumpled up the worst pack you could have crumpled up. That is amazing. Look at that. Am I, I thought I was spitting on the card for a second, but that just looks like some of the dots on the card, like two moons maybe. That looks so cool. Awesome. Very, very, we're not even done with the box opening. That is staying right there for the rest of this box at least. I, that is cool. There we go. That is the pool right there. Awesome. Let's see 
And last one there, we have a Sun Avalon Dryatrentier. I might have pronounced that wrong, but I don't care because this pool made it all worth it. Very, very, and we're not done. I was, I'm not even, I wasn't even at the point of getting nervous yet because we still got plenty of ghosts from the past to open and we got that awesome pool. Now I'll take it. That was great. Very, very nice. And for those of you who don't know, I got all of these uh, packs from the same location. So basically going off of that ratio. So let's see how my luck, you know, pulls out for the rest of this video. Uh, healer, the Heim Thief startup. I'm even still shaking. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a Sun Avalon pack there. And our first Heretic Seal of Creation. But I that, that was great. You can't beat that. And it's Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon. That's one of the better ones, I would say, too. Just for how awesome the card looks. Evil Thorn. Resonator Call. I just got to collect my thoughts for a second there. We have a Galaxy Eyes Cypher X Dragon. Oh, boy. That was great. That was cool. I'm very, very happy with those results. We have Metal Foes Vol Flame, Recover, Molten Conduction Field, our first Fairy Tale Raksha, our Rakshka, and Vampire Voivode for, okay, that looks so cool. It really looks like Alucard, if you think about it, for just, uh, you know, I, I almost tried to think what Voivode spelled backwards was, if it was doing like a Dracula sort of thing, but I don't believe so. Oh my goodness, I'm still just so happy about that pull after this box here i'll show it again because that was awesome i am pumped up for the rest of this let's see how we do all right goes from the past and we've got a medulce chateau so our first ultra rare chateau uh salmon great falco fusion uh, draco Esquite, and we have time thief adjuster this might be a new card for the tcg i don't remember if we had this card or not but really really nice um, art for sure. Uh, Perpetua, was that the name of the Exceed monster? Another Handmaiden. Fairy Tale Tales. Starry Night Blast. Almost looks like Stardust Dragon in a way, if you're not looking properly. Uh, Tomb. And another Shooting Star Dragon TGEX. There, I think I have three of that now. All right, third pack from this one. And then I'll show the Ghost Rare again. For those of you that just skip through the video, giving you another chance to see it. Uh, Time Thief Redoer. I'm skipping cards again because I'm still trying to collect my, uh, you know, sanity. Is that the word for it? Starry Night Ceremony. And let's take a look at that card again. That looks so cool. That just made the opening there. And I'm so happy about it that, like I said, I'm going to have to skip cards saying names because I'm just collecting myself now with this. All right. On to the next one. I had to check for a second to make sure I was still filming. It would have stunk if... You know, I pulled it, and it wasn't even recording. I was so nervous about that for a second there. Sunseed Shadow, Dragoonity Draft, Tefnuit, Regulator, and Starry Night, uh, Balefire. I definitely feel like I'm having a good amount of the Starry Night cards, unless I just don't know it now, and I haven't pulled one of the most important cards of the deck. I'll have to look back afterwards at all these cards. I almost thought I cut myself on one of the wrappers there. They really felt sharp for a second. Uh, Photon Thrasher, uh, Mithrilium. Combination. Ojama Country. I almost forgot this was in this set as a reprint. Definitely a neat reprint. And the fact that it's foils even better. And another Galaxy Eyes X Dragon. All right. Oh, man. I've, like, I'm just going through this. So happy. Willed now. Sunvine Shrine. Uh, Galaxy Eyes Cypher Blade Dragon. Splash Mage. Silvered. And another Vampire of Avoid. I think I've proven the fact that the last card will be a new card. All right, we've got seven more after this one. So eight in total remaining. Still think we're making pretty good time altogether. I guess I don't want this to be over an hour long video, but I think I've had half hour videos before. But let's see how we do. I wonder if they're going to give us another Firewall Dragon reprint, because the fact that the Arata is only on the Ghost Rare seems a little, you know, mean for the fact that people may want to play with a new version and not have access to it. And there's another Lava Archer, XYZ Burst as well. So maybe we'll get one. Maybe they'll reprint it as a Super in the OTS 16. Update Jammer, Hyozan Ru, Cosmo Dark Lady, nice. Uh, Salvage, and Starry Knight arrives. Still thinking of Stardust Dragon on that art for some reason. Very tricky. But last pack from this one. We have another Bezel Ship. 
Retrograde, Dryads, Dragoonity, Obliet, and another Tribute Land. If I can get a play set of Tribute Lanius, I'll definitely be happy because that basically means I can make another additional Dragoonity deck. Did I just say Dragoonity? Uh, Raid Raptors. I might have said Dragoonity Tribute Lanius also. If I did, someone correct me down below. After this opening, I'm going to have to move some of the garbage again because I'm about to lose... The knife again for opening. Uh, Sunseed Shadow, Dragoonity Draft, Tefnuit, Time Thief Regulator, and Starry Knight, Balefire. And Hyozon. I feel like I've gotten a lot of Hyozon Ruse also. I think this might be my fourth Cosmojo. Genius Loki, Cypher Blade Dragon, and Orchestrated Return. I almost forgot that was in this set also. Most of this video will be me being excited about the fact that I pulled a Ghost Rare. The rest of the video will be me just being surprised at something being reprinted in a pack. Can this pack surprise me again? We can, because we pulled our fourth Shooting Star Dragon TGEX. And it looks so cool. It almost looks like a rocket. But I think that's what they tried for a good amount of the different Stardust support, as I almost knocked the camera over. I miss any pack. I feel like I'm at the end of this, I'm going to find a pack just hiding in one of these boxes. Let's see how this one looks as well. Three packs upside down, three packs fixed. And starting off with a seal of convocation, petting cess. I still haven't pulled pudding cess. That's what I want to see. My fifth cause mojo, but no pudding cess. I think I have a place at a level archer now at least. But let's see. Okay, just rip the... Oh, wait, wait. Could this be it? Yep, there she is. Medulce Pudding Cess. I mean, I wanted to see her, and there she is. Time Thief Winder. That's it. The name of him. Dragoonity Phalanx. Mass Change. And we have Starry Knight Starry Dragon again. So I'm hoping that's the pricey card. I don't even know if Starry Knights have a pricey card or if they're all just pretty well-rounded in the prices. But I feel in Yu-Gi-Oh, there's always one card that's a little more value than others. Backup Secretary, Gold Driver, Flyback, and Dragoonity Whirlwind. Yeah, I haven't pulled the Dragon Ravine Searcher. That might be either short print, just hard to pull, but I don't care. Like I said, those of you are watching, you know why I don't care. My pulls were great. Happy about them. After this pack, we have four remaining. So no matter what, everything from here on is just a bonus. Fix those packs again. And let's see how we can finish this off. I might have a place at Thunderbird now also. Counter, Synchro Fusion, Chateau, and another Archer. Sweet. So yeah, I know I have a place at of Archers, but that's the deck I'm most excited for. So I'm glad I could at least get a good amount for that deck. Metal Foes Fusion, Sunvine Maiden, and Neshadol Genius again. And last one from this. Oh, there's another Buster Dragon. Awesome. Mist Valley Baby Rock. Monarchs Erupt. Sun Avalon Dryas. And I think I got a play set of Starry Dragons now as well. But yeah, Sun Avalons and Starry Knights. I'm definitely excited to look into both of those decks. Because they're definitely... I mean, unlike Dragoonities and some of the other decks like Cosmos where they only gave us partial support, I think they gave us the majority of those. Because even if you want to build Dragoonities, I still think you need a good amount of cards from the other sets to build them. So why it might be a little difficult to just get stuff from this set. It might be another reason why people are upset at the fact that they didn't give us Structure Decks. Because Structure Decks would have given us some of the old support as well. I know I saw Phalanx. Maybe Dragon Ravine is in this pack, but another Pudding Cess, and I'm just unaware of it. Sunvine Thrasher. I know I pulled this one. I almost thought it was another new one, but I have pulled it already. And Phalanx, Mass Change, Secretary, and there it is, Dragoonity Remus. I couldn't remember the name of it, but just from the art alone, I saw that it was the one that is the Searcher. Just for the fact that it's a Dragon Ravine, Searcher seems very, very dangerous to me as a card for the fact that people will use it in not- Dragoonities, and then we'll end up suffering for it. But I think that's just a risk people will have to say for sure. With such, a, I mean, Dragoonity is definitely a little better boost for support. And that definitely seems like it. So healer, flyback, heals on Rue, and I think I have my third Dragoonity Knight Arid Bar as well. Shows that that probably might not be a pricey card compared to some of the other ones in this set. But I also pulled two Red Supernova Dragons, so I'm happy about that. Uh, Starry Knight Arrival, another one, like I said, a new card at the end 
is what usually seems to be. And we got a Gear Town, Volflame, Tefnuit, and another Time Thief, Double Barrel. Is there any, I'm trying to think now. Is there any card I haven't pulled yet for the new support? I pulled Red, Nova Dragon. Uh, oh, the Necroz card. I haven't pulled that yet. So there is a new Ritual Monster for Necroz. I'd be curious. I got two boxes remaining, so six packs total. Can we pull that? I think I've used up all my luck. Asking for two Ghost Rares seems extremely greedy. So I'm just going to ask for the Necroz card. The fact that I didn't care what, uh, you know, Ghost Rare I got gave me enough luck to pull it. But, hey, I'll take three Red Supernova Dragons. That's pretty awesome there for sure because that seems to be a card that a lot of people are excited for in this set. So three of that is fine. But let's see. We've got five packs remaining. So we have another Fairy Tale Roshka. Sunvine Healer, and I think I have four evenly matches now. So along with just the awesome pool of the Ghost Rare I had, this has definitely been an awesome box opening. I think I have three Pudding Sets now also. Phalanx, and I think I have a playset of Voivode also. All right, I've got a huge pile forming here that I'm going to separate so I don't knock anything over and have huge regrets. I got the Ghost Rare. Uh, to the side as well, so I don't lose it. The final box. Everyone take your bets on what you think I'll pull from this one. So, final three. I'll put them on camera. Let's see how I do. Tafnuit. Regulator. Photon Thrasher, Mithrilium, and I almost thought for a second it was going to be the Necroz Ritual, but nope, Her Heretic <laughs> Seal of Heavenly Spheres. So maybe I'm wrong. These were all reprinted cards. Maybe the last card isn't always a new card. Maybe I just haven't been paying attention enough during this opening. Combination, Ojama Country, Mass Change 2, and I got a play set of Double Bear. I don't even think you run three of this in the Time Thief deck. But the last pack, can I pull the Necros card? Is there another card that I haven't pulled that I haven't been thinking of this whole video as well? Let's find out. With Dark Requiem, Xyz Dragon, Cosmo Tin Can, Time Thief Hack, Heretic Son of Heliopolis, and our final card is Heretic Sky Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis. So another copy of that, still cool. You can see him side by side there. I'm guessing the old version and the new version of the card. They got the same attack and defense stats. That's what I was unsure about. But all in all, I am very, very happy with these results. The fact that we pulled this beauty makes it all the worth it. And there's not really much else of a recap I can do because everything's ultra rare, but the pools were awesome. I can't wait to start on deck profiles for a lot of this support. And I hope you all enjoyed the video as well. Uh, maybe I'll pick up some more of this set. I want to go through everything, see what I haven't pulled. You know, some cards, I'm sure there's something I missed out on that I didn't pull as well. But until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and Kira Twig out.